So he kind of brought you up in a recent interview with academics about the LAX fight and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, how were you? How, well, how did your name get into that mix of the LAX um, fight and well, the brawl? The last time he was down here, um, we had met. Uh, Mike Prince was um, at the store. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. they met each other. So. Um, you know, I think everybody pretty much knows that, you know, he fucks with me and I fuck with him. You know yeah. what I mean? So the crazy thing, I didn't even know about the situation until I got the call. Okay. So Mike had called me about it and just like, yo, like, you know, we wanted to reach out to him. And the only per- the best way we know is to reach through you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so that's what pretty much happened with that situation. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And it was just some pe- It wasn't really... Um, the Prince or rap a lot or anything like that. It was yeah, long story short. And- yeah, long story short. Um, basically, it wasn't anybody notable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, you know, I, I wouldn't say they were false claiming whatever reason they decided to use that, you know, uh, the name. But, um, you know, I got the call from Mike himself and I personally know the old man, you know, and shouts out to them and Junior shouts and out. Jazz. Like, you know, I, I've known them for like over 10 years, so oh, much wow. respect and love to them too, you know what I mean? So, you know, and, and, and I appreciate them hitting me up about it, you know, just letting me know. But it, it was what it was, you know what I mean? Yeah. People, yeah. You know, people like to throw shit around, like once again, social chasing media clout. and reality. You know yeah. What I mean? it, was, it was just chasing clout and just, just sad that, just sad that rap has to be that way nowadays. Yeah. And, and you know, like I've said this to my friends, the sad thing about it is just like, um, people don't understand, a lot of people is that like, these clout chasers and all this stuff that they're doing, like, you know, you're doing it on social media, but you're dragging it into reality. Yes. Now you got real street motherfuckers. Yes. You got real people that would live and die for whatever it is they claim or represent Mm -hmm. getting involved in these situations. And now it's not these clout people or these entertainment people or social media people hurting each other. It's real street people that are hurting each other based on what they think is reality and what's not, you know what I mean? So that, that, that you know what I mean? That's the only thing that, that gets to me from it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the you know, I'm used to hating people talking shit, you know what I mean? But yeah. just seeing that where it could end, and where it sure. could go, like, what is the point just yeah. for attention, you know Because I mean? from what I hear, he has some real, like he has real, real, real people around him that are really oh. about that. And so, I, I mean, I've heard and it's just sad because and then a lot of times it's innocent bystanders that get hurt or innocent people that. And that's really what I'm saying. Like you're getting, it. you're getting people that are, are really innocent bystanders just because they live that lifestyle or yeah. that gang life don't mean that they should be involved in that. Yeah. But you're 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 dragging people into the situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's I, I really think it's you know what I mean because anybody yeah. can go get a gun, anybody can go hire somebody. Like if you really from the streets, you know what it is, man. It ain't hard to get somebody knocked off. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah. You'll find somebody out here in Houston to knock a dude off for five hundred. So it's like, what's really the point? Because a dude's yeah. popping, a dude's buzzing. You know what I mean? Like, let him do him, man. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know, man. Are you ever, are, are y'all close enough to where you kind of tell, like, give him advice and tell him, you know, kind of, you know, maybe cool it on the videos or don't, you know. Like, um, uh, I would say we cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. We do talk about certain things. Yeah. Um, sometimes I give him my opinion, but he's a man, you know, and he knows what he's doing and. You know, at the end of the day, all I can do is say, like, yo, I fuck with dude. He cool. Yeah. And when he's with me, he got to leave with me the way he came with me. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. Any real motherfucker know what that is. Like, whatever the personal problem is or whatever, it's like, yo, if he with me. He with me. I, yeah, I, I can't let nothing happen to him. For Just sure. like he would do that for me. And anybody else that knows me knows how I fuck with. I don't care who you are or what you've been. If you with me, I, I got to make sure you good. You know what I'm saying? That's respect. That's respect. That's just how I go. That's respect.